Hey guys, I'm back with another video and during this video, I'm going to talk about the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm and the Fashion Fair Cream and Powder Foundation. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So in this video, I want to compare these two babies. I want to just kind of decide if it's a dupe, which one is better for mature skin. And I'm also going to do a demo for you all. When I talk about each product, I will have an application. I will have uh, a finished face with the product. Also, if you're interested in a full review on the Fashion Fair uh, Cream to Foundation, I did a video, I think two years back, whenever this video whenever this product came out and I'll link it up below I think you should check it out because you know this I, I really like this but anyway I'm going to compare the two give you all a demo and I'm going to talk about some things that you can kind of look for when you're out trying to purchase your foundations and of course I want to talk a little bit about if you have mature skin what to look for when you're out there buying your makeup and things like that so on the surface these appear to be really good for mature skin because you got the buzz where it's like balm you have cream and then they're supposed to dry down to you know a light powder and you just kind of take a glance and it looks like it's got a few good ingredients in it but sometimes we do overlook reading the um, ingredients uh, a little bit more closely. And when you do that, sometimes you find, or I've noticed that a product can have those buzzwords just to get you to buy the product. But then when you really dive deeper into it, it's just kind of something else. And one particular ingredient that I like to look for when picking out uh, foundations or skincare, I like to look to see how many antioxidants there are in a product. I feel like the more the better and we all know that antioxidants are going to help with the free radicals okay and I have older videos on that free radicals are the things that really wreak havoc on our skin when it comes to diet or stress or the foods that we eat things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Danessa Myricks and straight off the bat this doesn't really matter but I just want to talk about it I think the packaging is so lovely years ago I used to be a person who was a sucker for packaging you know whether it be an eyeshadow palette or or um, a foundation or powder how whatever it was if it was in pretty packaging I was like yes ma'am Thank you. But anyway, I do like the packaging and I like the fact that you get the little spoon right here to use to apply the product on your skin. That's always good to me because it prevents you from contaminating your product. And what I did is I just kind of got a little bit, uh, well, actually I kind of got a lot of bit out and, <laughs> and I applied it. But yeah, I love the uh, packaging, the color, everything, stellar. Uh, you can't miss I think the shade that this is is eight now when you actually see the application I know you're probably gonna think oh my god girl that that no 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 that that's not gonna work but how, how do they say they say trust the process trust the process so with this product you got two antioxidants you got the squalene and you have the hyaluronic acid and then you have the third ingredient which is upsalite which helps with absorbing sweat and excess sebum. So I did notice that this product says that it dries matte or the finish is a matte finish. I did not get that memo. The first time that I applied this balm powder, you know, I'm trying, I don't know if I should call it a balm or a powder. I used a brush and the application was horrible as you see or saw. I'm not sure if I'm showing it now, but then I was like, okay, let me, I took that application off and I reapplied it and I just applied it as like a moisturizer. I used less, I was able to use less, get better coverage, and I was able to get a really good application. The look that I have on now, you probably figured it out. Uh, this is the look with the uh, blurring balm, blurring the balm powder, the balm powder. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I'm going to call it a balm. So anyway, after I did that, much, much better application. Now, for it to claim to have a matte finish, uh, I didn't get that memo. Uh, it, it, it wasn't 
I waited a while to see if it would kind of turn into a powder. For me, it did not turn into a powder at all. So after I applied my concealer, I still found that this was still very dewy very uh not oily but it just very very dewy and i had to set it and you know you all know that i am one that i will not set something if it's self-setting or let's say if it is radiant or dewy and it doesn't move around i won't set it but this one you know i kind of had it on and then i touched my skin and you can tell if your product is going to move around so i did have to add a little bit of powder on the flip side if you have dry skin, this would be awesome. This is just like putting on a moisturizer, like literally, like a moisturizer. So if you had and you don't mind that that type of look, then go ahead. You can tell in the demo how it looks without powder. So if you're okay with that look, totally go for it. I think the color is a little bit I don't know if it's red or orange, but I feel as though overall I made it work because I have it on now. I have on a full face. Well, I don't have on lashes, <laughs> but I have on everything else. And I think it, it like came together when it comes to, you know, my face and my chest. I think it all kind of flows really well. I feel like with any, like if you get a foundation and you kind of mess up on or on the shade and you don't quite get it right, I feel like with a, once you bronze up and you use a, con a concealer to highlight and your powder, you can really bring those things together. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. This is the Fashion Fair Cream to Powder. And I'll just go ahead and say, spoiler alert, I absolutely love it. So as far as ingredients, this one has resorcinol, turmeric, and vitamin C. So right off the bat, we already know that turmeric is an antioxidant. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. But what is the resorcinol? What is that? Hmm, is that an antioxidant or what? Because now we're trying to decide which one is better for mature skin and and I only say which one is better I'm looking for which one offers the most so in that regard you know I'm deciding which is better for mature skin so that particular ingredient is an antioxidant and it offers anti-inflammatory benefits for your skin and Anytime you can reduce inflammation, that's going to help with a lot of things. Uh, the first thing that I can think of is irritation or if you have redness, it can, you know, cut that down. It also fades dark spots and evens out your skin tone over time. So with that being said, right off the bat, when I just look at their highlight, I would say that the Fashion Fair Cream to Powder Foundation here offers more antioxidants, which are going to be better for mature skin. So you'll notice that it does look a little bit light for me, but trust the process, like I say. So for me, the coverage is good. I feel as though the application uh, no matter how you slice it and dice it. For me, I found that the sponge or the brush or even your hands can work well. Again, if you're interested in seeing a more detailed video of this, I'll link it down below so you can check it out. I think this foundation is beautiful. So I can say that this one plays well with lots of powders, lots of concealers, no matter what I've used in the past. Also, it actually dries down to a powder so you don't have to set it. If you're not one that likes to use powder in the sense of powder, not a cream to powder, you don't have to set this one because it will it will dry down. And then once it does, when you touch it, it doesn't feel like uh, you still have, let's say, moisturizer or it doesn't feel tacky in any way. For me to get the best application with this, it's just better to use a brush because I feel like with the sponge, it's gonna take forever. You can get, like if there's areas of your face that you really want to cover. All right, and so this is the final look with the Fashion Fair Cream to Powder Foundation, and it's really pretty. It just looks really, to me, it looks better than the Danessa Myricks final look. 
please let me know what you think in regards to the comparison. I don't know. It's just a prettier look. I don't have on lashes as you can see. So it's kind of really just showing you all the base of it. And the fact that both of them look different, that's what's fun about makeup. Because sometimes when you're, if you are a makeup wearer, sometimes there's certain looks that you want to go for for certain occasions. For example, if you're going to work, you probably want a more natural look or if you're going to church or things like that. Whereas if you're going out with your, your homegirls or your friends to meet them for lunch or brunch, then you might go for a different look versus if you're going out an evening out on the town, you might want another look. So it's just kind of good to have different products for different looks, you know, if you are that person. But overall, I think both of them are really good for mature skin. Are they a dupe? No, not, not at all. And the reason that I even wanted to compare is because both start off as um, a cream or a balm and they claim to turn into a powder. After all, the Danessa Myricks is the the balm powder, the yummy balm blurring powder. <laughs> okay, and then the fashion fair is the cream to powder. The only thing is, where is it? This one, yeah, I don't think that it went down. I think that this one would be good if you have really, if you got mature skin and you got really, 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 really dry skin, okay, and you don't, um, I feel like with this one, you don't have to do a lot of skin skincare prep. Some skincare prep, uh, some makeup, you have to do a lot. They, some people apply their essence, their serum, their uh, moisturizer, a heavy moisturizer, and then they go in with their foundation. You don't have to do that at all. And low key, I'm just gonna whisper this, if you don't use skincare at all, you don't need to. <laughs> If you skip your skincare, dare I say, just because it feels like a moisturizer, that that's it. So if, if you've already got it like moisturized and it's there, then you're good. However, with this one, I feel as though you do need to do, you know, some prep, uh, skincare prep. You don't, you don't have to do a heavy moisturizer, but definitely do your skincare prep because this one, to me, it dries down as a powder. So in comparison, which one do I think is better for mature skin? You know, it depends on your needs and what you're looking for. If you're looking for a product that has the most antioxidants to offer, this would be your girl. If you have dry, mature skin and you're looking for something that you can just kind of put on in the morning, you know, massage it in, okay, and go, this will be your girl. So that is my comparisons. I don't think that both of them are a dupe. It depends on what you're looking for. Me personally, I just love the way this fashion fair, I love how the final look looks on me. And then again, I don't mean to be, I don't mean to push you towards the video, but go check out the review that I have of this foundation. And I, uh, I had the powder too and just look and see how pretty the final look is. So yeah, that's it. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried uh, the, Nessa, the Danessa Myricks Balm Powder or if you've tried the Fashion Fair Cream to Powder. Let me know what you think about it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Could you care less? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.